everybody. Just wanted to come on real quick and share a couple thoughts uh, with you. I am down here at uh, the park doing some walking and praying and yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's going to be 100 degrees today and um, yeah, I just got a lot of things on my mind that I wanted to bring up. So I guess we could consider this a Justice for America program and uh, I'll give you a shot real quick here of where I'm at. Okay, so yeah, we got, uh, this is a park in the town where I'm living, um, Marble Falls, nice little park. There's a big, big river over there and I'm kind of not walking towards it. But, uh, <clears throat> and then here's just a little tributary of the river. And if I had my fishing pole here, I'd probably go in and do a little bit of fishing, see if I could catch some bass. That's where they like to hang out, is around those little edges down there. Yeah, so a beautiful little park, beautiful little place. God's creation is always awesome. Anyway, I <clears throat> just wanted to talk to you about a couple things real quick that's on my mind. <clears throat> so I don't have the links on quite yet, but as soon as I get done with the program, I'll put some links on. There are a number of things that are happening right now that are super important, things that you ought to be praying about and asking God to intervene on. One of them is the nation of Israel. Uh, we are inching towards a global conflict. It is entirely possible that sometime in the next few months, if things don't tamp down and, and you know, you got to give credit to people who are trying to de-escalate uh, because nobody needs a global war, okay? We just don't want that. We just don't need that. So this whole issue between uh, Iran, the I mean, we've had this thing going on with Hamas and Israel rightfully attempting to stamp out that one uh, particular group. Oh, I just saw a turtle. <laughs> Not a squirrel, but a turtle. All right, and um, and all the craziness that's come because of that. And most recently, Israel attacked um, and killed one of the leaders of Hamas. So that has escalated things. Um, and again, this is what they said they were going to do. I believe they have a right to do it. Uh, all the crazy rhetoric you hear about the Palestinian people being so persecuted and it's their land and blah, blah, blah. None of it is true. It's just not. There are a lot, a lot of deaths. That part is true, for sure. Anyway, that's not my main thing today. My main thing is simply you need to pray for Israel because now Iran is saying they're going to retaliate. And this could go into a global conflict really, really easily. So, um, yeah, we've got a bunch of our warships and everything down there uh, right now. So, you know, again, as we always say, kind of get tired of saying all the time, but don't be afraid. If you're afraid, there's you need to go to God and ask him why. Okay, I'll, I just will say that. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is the border. So I'm going to have a, a very short link on there by Dan Bongino. Some of you like Dan, some of you don't. I don't really care. Um, again, this is not a personality contest. This is about truth. Somebody said that about uh, Biden, or excuse me, Harris now. Forgive me. Uh, Harris and... Um, and Trump, that this is not, you know, you're not writing somebody a valentine when you vote. This is about, um, you know, a strategic move for our country and so on and so on. So keep that in mind. We're not voting a personality. And yet, so much of America does that. It's amazing. I like this person. I don't like them. I could care less who you like. What matters is what are they going to do? What's their policy? Do they tell the truth or do they constantly lie? So anyway. One of the things that's come out that I just saw this morning that I thought was important to share with you is a link from Dan Bongino. And I have some problems with Dan. But I love you. Love you, Dan, anyway. Um, he gives a clip where Kamala Harris basically comes on, and this is recent, and says what she's going to do uh, at the border. I'm not going to tell you what that is. I want you to watch it. But listen very closely to what Dan is saying. Maybe I will tell you. Basically, she's talking about detention centers. That's all I'll say. Okay? But she's giving away 
her policy and what she want. This thing that's been going on at the border was planned. That's not a conspiracy. It's absolutely truth, okay? And you ought to care about the truth. Why it's being done, well, that might be a question of different people's motives, but the long and the short of it is to win an election, okay? That's, yeah. Anyway, my big goal here is just to get you to watch that link. I'll put it on right after I'm done. <clears throat> that thing that's going on at the border, I believe, will continue. Now, they may step in. If Kamala were to be elected, she might step in for a minute and you know, put some new legislations, tamp down on things just a little bit. But ultimately, in the end, it's going to be whatever they think it needs to be. Now, here's something that you need to understand. People, the culture, I want to say this carefully. The culture of the White House, Congress, our governance has become a culture of not telling the truth. Okay, now you may think that's just Jim's opinion. I guarantee you it's not. Secrecy, hiding things, okay, not telling the truth, saying one thing and then turning around and saying the opposite. And this is one of the things that I personally have seen about Kamala. Uh, I don't hate her or anything like that, but I will tell you this much, she doesn't tell the truth, she doesn't. Or what she will do is that she'll say um, that she's gonna do this, I believe that, I don't know who coined the phrase, but somebody said it this way. They said that uh, uh, Kamala, Kamala is a chameleon. And I think that's the best. She has a history of saying whatever needs to be said to whoever's listening in order to get their approval. Now that's a fact. Not in every case, not every word she's ever said. Okay, but it's true. So <clears throat> I'm going to title this today so that you can identify it. Uh, dead in the head, okay? For those who still have the ability to think, dead in the head. We have become a nation of people that refuse to, to look at the truth. We just want to win. We want our team to win. Um, you know, we want our side to be the side. We want to pick one side and hate the other side. It's just craziness. You and I have to be people who love the truth who love the truth, who look for the truth, and then stand up for the truth. Because we have an entire culture, I would say probably close to at least 50% of our culture, maybe not that much, who have fully embraced the idea. It's not that they that they just set out to not believe the truth, okay? But we just choose to believe whoever we like the most. And that's what's crazy. And most definitely, our governing body has come into that place. Now, here's the final thing I want to say. I think something that maybe some of you guys have seen that's been happening in, in the United Kingdom, in Britain, in England, England, Britain, United Kingdom, all the same thing, okay? They are now putting people in jail for telling the truth. You say, well, that's not true, Jim. They're putting in people in jail for not telling the truth. Well, that's the way the law reads that they have now implemented, but that's not what's actually happening. Now, that's a good thing. If you tell, if people come out and just tell a false lie, it's a false lie. That's a movie quote. People come out and they just say, uh, hey, that Jim Moore, he did this and he did that or whatever, and it's a lie and it slanders and it hurts and so on, then yeah, I think that those people ought to be held accountable. But when somebody takes a video of something that's happening, listen close now. Somebody takes a video of something that's happening, okay? And then they post it and say, this happened. And they're basically just showing you the truth. Um, that person deserves a medal not to be put in jail, okay? But when you have a system that believes not telling the truth is the most important thing in order to acquire what they want. Let me tell you real quick what happened, and I'm gonna shut, I'm gonna shut it off in just a second. What happened is that the United Kingdom had an open door policy for illegal immigrants. Now I know that's a hot button topic. We're not against immigration. I'm not. Um, we're a nation of immigrants. Okay, you've heard all the rhetoric before. The bottom line is you cannot let people into your home without vetting them. Okay, think of the United States of America as, a, as your home. Let's say you had a home, and in that home you had 10 acres of land, 
and you had a big compassionate heart and you wanted to let people come into your home and you wanted to take care of maybe the homeless or so on and so you were doing that you still okay are you listening you still would bet those people I'm sitting down you absolutely would if you had a brain in your head you would do something to bet those people why because it's just right and smart and so on we as a nation have always done that up until the last however many years and basically here's here's and this this would get me in jail in the UK right now the motivation behind the open borders there's a lot of them it's it's you know because again you can mask these things with like saying this is about compassion and all that whatever the bottom line is the administration opened the border so that they could win the next election that's it that's that's really <clears throat> these people who run these systems are not they're not unintelligent I was gonna say they're not idiots but sometimes you know yeah words mean different things but they're not uninformed let's put it that way they're not most of them are highly educated people unless you get some AOC girl that uh, or the brightest thing she ever did was help run a bar anyway shouldn't have probably said that but any you get what I'm saying these are not ill-informed people don't ever make the mistake of sitting there going oh my gosh we didn't know that would happen they absolutely knew it happened but what they did was counted the cost okay if we do this yeah there'll be some bad things that happen in our country but in the end we'll be in control so we'll fix them all that my friend as far as I can tell is the absolute truth okay so the end what us being in control and being able to say what happens justifies the means how we get there so I get what now the UK embraced this completely they embraced this uh, now not I'm not saying they have the same motivation I believe this country was political I think sometimes what happens is people give way lack of intelligence they give way to the public who is screaming and uh, rioting in streets and so on. So they give place to that. Defund the police, you know, BLM, Antia, it's all good, blah, blah, blah. So if there's enough noise made, and I think that's what happened in the UK, that's just my opinion. So anyway, a flood of immigrants come in, I think probably to please the masses. I don't think, because they're, they're not a voting nation, right? They don't have, their citizens don't vote per se, okay, not on everything. They get, their king, their ruler, their their president, as it were, is whoever's next in line. So they don't get a vote on that. And shame on you and I. I know some of you will not like the way I say that, but shame on us if we don't take that God-given gift of being able to vote because we crazily think that, oh, you know, it doesn't make any difference. Anyway, I'm getting off track. So the UK has a big, big problem. What the Islamic nations, other countries, said they would do their doing. Now this is the truth. This would get me, if I posted this in the UK, I'd probably go to jail for it. It's come to that. You see, we've got people all the time, Just they're just dead in the brain. They just don't believe these things will happen. They just don't. Okay, you tell them and then you're accused of, of being a, a crazy man, crazy, or somebody who's, you're a hater, you're a bigot. I'm none of those things, okay? I'm not crazy, I'm not a hater, I'm not a big, I am committed to telling the truth. If I posted this video in the UK, I'd probably get put in jail. You know, I can show you, I think one of the videos I have is showing you uh, them doing this. Anyway, if you're watching, if you're paying attention, we have definitely crossed a line, or the UK has, because this is their way of solving the problem. They're now having riots in the street, and if you don't believe that they'll try to make America do that, just watch the Elon Musk interview that happened a couple of days ago. Elon Musk and Donald Trump. They actually wrote the royalty, listen close, the royalty of the United Kingdom, Britain, wrote a letter to Elon Musk. It's all over the internet. You can find it, okay? This, these, are not, these are not theories, okay? Saying, and they, they word it with so many fancy words, you've got to really kind of understand the legal speak to hear what they're saying. But they were pretty bold about it. They basically said, uh, any false information you give is, uh, we're going to come after you for it. 
They can't say that it's against the law here because it's not. But now that they have crossed the line and it's against the law and they can put you in jail for posting something that they determine is not is misinformation or malinformation or false. We come up with all these words. I you know we're just we're just so crazy. Now they're trying to reach in to the systems of America and saying, hey, we have this law here. You don't, but since your program reaches people in our country, we can, we're going to, we're going to come against you legally, lawfare, okay? So here's the, here's the issue. Let me wrap it up. I'm trying. They're overpopulated with immigration. Many of the people, or a portion, I don't know if it's many, I don't know the percentage, it doesn't matter. They're violent, okay? They're now, and say, and England is saying, well, <clears throat> That's inciting hatred. No, listen, the hatred's already there, okay? The immigrants are angry because they have already stated they want Sharia law, okay? They want to have their own form of government. You know, these guys have stated this for years. This is not news. If it's news to you, it's only because you haven't seen it. They've been stating for years their plan. They have written it down. They've actually come on on a line and said it to people we still don't believe it and we're the dumb ones okay if we don't believe it they said our plan is to take over everything literally our plan is global domination they have said it out of their mouths oh i just can't believe that so that can't be true you know if you don't believe the guy that's looking at you in the face and saying i'm going to come and kill you then then it's on you it's on you and that's where england's at okay they're and not everybody, I know, I know, I know, not all people who are Islamic are the same. I get it. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the violent ones. I'm talking about the ones that want Sharia law. I'm talking about the ones that are protesting in the streets, praying by the hundreds in the street, uh, overwhelming cities. And there are a lot of, of uh, sexual assaults and gang rapes and so on. You'll see one of them when you watch Dan uh, Bongino. And they're saying... The UK is saying, if you show that video, we're going to put you in jail for misinformation, even though it isn't misinformation, because it's going to uh, stir up violence. So their way of stopping all of these riots that are happening, I hope you've been watching. I, you know, we talked to a lady the other day, Linda and I, and God bless her heart. I don't mean her any ill, but she was like, oh, I just can't watch the news. Oh, oh, I just can't watch the news. It's just too much. It's just too much. Listen, you're not a weakling. You're, you're not. Now, there may be some people who are so mentally traumatized. I get that. And I don't mean to, to make fun of them. I'm not. I, I really don't mean to. But you know what? God put us on this earth at this time so that we could have a voice, so that we could... Don't let Satan steal, steal your voice. And don't let fear grip your heart. If you're right with God, you don't have anything to be afraid of. Anyway, this woman was saying, I can't watch the news anymore. Well, I'm going to tell you the opposite. And a lot of my political colleagues or, or, excuse me, pastoral colleagues will be mad at me for, or like say the opposite of this. All due respect to them. I think you should watch the news. I don't think you should obsess over it. I don't think you should spend hours and hours and hours. You know what? I find lots of Christians, they spend hours and hours in front of the screen regardless of what they're watching. So they might watch puppy dogs and babies like Linda and I do, or they might obsess over news. Listen, you can obsess over anything. You ought to check your screen time once in a while and find out how many hours. There's this gadget in your, in your, your phone that will tell you exactly how many hours you have spent on the screen. Most people would be shocked. Anyway, so back to the UK, I gotta end this. Their solution to the problem of the violence that they permitted to come into their country is to shut down people's free speech. Let's say it's not happening. If you post a video, you're gonna go to jail and they're doing it. They're not talking about doing it, they're doing it. I watched a video clip of a judge uh, coming against a man the other day. And this guy posted something on the internet that says, I don't want my tax money going to people who are being violent and assaulting people and so on. They put him in jail for it. Yeah, for like six months. If you don't think that can happen, then you're, you're, you're not thinking. This, that's the name of this program, Dead in the Head. Many, many Americans have come to the place and they justified by their religiosity or their spiritual or Jesus or I just can't handle it, whatever, 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 whatever. When we go to sleep, 
when we turn over and we hit the snooze button and then we wake up and we freak the heck out because we were too foolish to be aware of the day we're living in. I know I'm being, I'm being, I'm being very forthright with what I'm saying this morning. You learn to find the balance. Know what's happening. I believe with all my heart it's our responsibility to know what's happening. And I can prove that for you Bible believers. It's not even hard. We're told to pray for leaders. How can you pray for a leader if you don't even know who the leader is? You don't even know what the leader's doing? Come on. It's an excuse that has long lived and needs to die. You say, well, I can't be the kind of Christian I'm supposed to be if I do that. No, you can. I am. I'm going to say that boldly. Oh, that's arrogant, Jim. No, I am. Okay? <laughs> you can too. <laughs> All right. So watch the links that I put on. Be someone who is intelligent, thoughtful. Don't let hatred creep in your heart. That's your number one enemy. You won't win anything if you, if you become the thing that you are protesting. If you become the thing that you are looking at and seeing as evil. If you, Satan can't cast out Satan. Evil can't cast out evil. Hatred can't cast out hatred. You get what I'm saying? Hey, bro. All right, that's all I'm going to do. Uh, go back and watch the beginning. And then I'm going to go ahead and put on the links right now. It should just take a minute or two. I encourage you to watch them and then take it to God. Take it to God in prayer. Release it to the Lord in prayer. And really actually pray. I know a lot of people watch these links and if they're honest, they'll say, I don't really pray about them. You really should. All right. God bless you guys. Hey, Karen. So as soon as you get done, uh, if you just are now coming on at the end, watch. This is very short. Watch this from the beginning and then I'll have the links up in a few moments. God bless you all. Love you. Give yourself permission to have a great day. Bye-bye.